and welcome to our irregular vlog video. We're a little bit late sort of getting this one out because we've had sort of a really sort of packed um, the last two weeks. Right, let's begin. We've just completed the unboxing of the preliminary drawings pertaining to the original artwork in Rogue Trader Warhammer sort of 40,000. Um, it's quite a lengthy video because there are, are a lot of pieces in there, but it, it's well worth the watch. We've had a look at the artwork. We've had a look at all sort of the margins um, and the notes in the margins and stuff. And we've found some sort of quite interesting information that you're going to be um, hopefully enjoy. Um, we're going to be replenishing and sort of refreshing the artwork um, that's in the auction sort of sales group, uh, hopefully early next week. So we're going to be putting in some artwork themed around the Imperial Guard. We're going to be um, posting. We're going to be posting some pieces from Tony Ackland uh, from. Warhammer sort of fantasy roleplay and Warhammer battle and and from sort of Rune Quest. Um, we've heard from H. So two three weeks ago we sent H a rather large sort of question set and he's completed those and he's and he's and he sort of sent them back. At the moment he's just getting in a position to take pictures of his artwork. So at his time. At sort of Games Workshop, he created rather a lot of technical illustrations and breakdowns of equipment that were used in the original in the original sort of rule set and for other sort of supplements and for um, product design as well. So I'm, I'm not sure how many pieces he's kept, but he s s s s s seems to think he's got a large collection so hopefully we'll have those soon we'll put all those together and we'll sort of get those out in um, a series of articles on the blog and on YouTube we've opened and started a Twitter account and you can sort of find us on the handle Old Hammer The I've been hanging out for the last few years in sort of the Facebook groups and they are rather the you know the sort of same sort of demographic, um, kind of sort of thirty five sort of plus. The Twitter crowd is a completely sort of different demographic. It's sort of much younger. They've fully sort of engaged in the hobby. There's um, I'd just like to give a shout out to a guy called Planet Old Hammer. He's been really good. He's um, helped me sort of build a, a small sort of following and he, 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 he should be really helpful he's really bouncy he's so into old hammer it's really good and kind of sort of finally we've been in contact with the uh, great Gary Chalk so we've had a conversation with him on sort of several things we've um, asked him about his artwork that has been sort of lost and destroyed over the years we've been asked him what his sort of current and sort of future projects are and during the lockdown period, he painted a personal piece for himself, um, which is absolutely stunning. So if you can cast your mind back to the Warhammer's Armies book and you had all the armour pertaining to a particular faction, he's done kind of, sort of something similar to that for dwarfs. Absolutely amazing. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to bring you examples of his work and to bring you articles of his artwork that have been sort of lost over time. Thank you, and we'll catch you soon.